So guys, the last video we did... I don't want to sound harsh, but there was a lot of booze. We kind of got a bit too drunk and it seemed a bit unprofessional. So what I'm trying to say is, for this video, maybe no booze at all. No, 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 I do have friends, thank you very much. And as we often do when we're together, we started talking about horror films. In particular, unintentionally hilarious moments in horror films. And one of my friends said, why don't we make this into a video, let's get the camera rolling and see what we can come up with. And that's what this video is. Very little research, so apologies for that. Uh, a lot of alcohol, apologies for that. Let's see what happens. I won a pink elephant for my girlfriend. Why don't you just, uh, get lost, pal? <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Quickly. Didn't you hear me? Weirdo. Scratch. Unintentionally funny moments. I'm gonna get the ball rolling and say Nicolas Cage <laughs> in not only Wicker Man but pretty much every horror he's I done. Love Nicolas Cage. He's amazing. No. Oh no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! I love my eyes! We're talking about unintentionally funny horror films. Like, is he being unintentional or is he just trolling us? Well, like, I actually like think he's very serious. Yeah, but I heard that there so was a deal with him and the director and they were actually in on the joke. When what, with Wicker true. Man? Or? Well, yeah, with even him section. punching someone oh. while he's in a bear suit. Like, full it's on Nicholas Cage. punching someone in the face. <laughs> it's it's like Willy's Wonderland, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically he does, yeah, yeah. loads of people dressed <laughs> up in really not scary costumes and then he's just beating them up. <laughs> I think it's more of a case of a lot of his films, he just Crazy. didn't start off it being intentional and it became mm. intentional because of, he kind of latched on, he's like, hey, I can make money out of this. <laughs> and then it's that's a, when he just carried like, it on. It's a bit like yeah. Jim Carrey ad lib in his comedy, yeah. you know, yeah. he, he started off being serious and went, actually, this would work better as a... Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's become a bit of a meme and maybe he's now embracing yeah, that sure. meme. I think Why he is, not, yeah. though? I think he's gained more fans through doing that. It's going well, to be really okay. sad though if behind closed doors he has a little cry. <laughs> <laughs> Why does no one take me seriously? <laughs> take me seriously, those bees! <laughs> <laughs> so another film that I kind of um, had on my list, actually a trilogy of films. So when it comes to the studio A24, you kind of know what you're getting when it comes to their horror films. Um, like proper, weird, indie, twisted. So they're the studio that did Hereditary. Oh, X. oh no. And I know you're desperate to say, <laughs> to talk about one particular scene. Literally. I know the scene. <laughs> I know the scene. Yeah. Should we just, should we just do it now? Turn? Do it now. <laughs> It was unintentional. Okay, yeah, I did sense. not mean to laugh, but the first time I watched it, I think you all know which scene know. it is. <laughs> describe think, it. Describe it for the audience. Uh, she has an urgent reaction. Her brother's driving her to the hospital. <laughs> She's trying to get air. She sticks her head out of the window. There's a lamppost and she gets decapitated. I wasn't expecting it, yeah. and that's why I laughed. I'm <laughs> glad you at least explained it. I feel a little bit safer around you now, so that's, I do appreciate it. But do me you a favour. You not so much. <laughs> do me a favour. Stop doing that. <laughs> so I can't help it. I think we should drink I'll every time we do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We would be absolutely ratty. <laughs> 
Who's on my Guinness list? <laughs> but the thing that made me and the rest of the cinema laugh out loud mm. was when she just started flying up to the yeah, tree. Yeah. Yeah. So then there was the studio's second horror film, which was um, Midsummer. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Now that contains what I thought was going to be the weirdest sex scene I'd ever seen in a horror film <laughs> until I watched the next studio film, which was X. Oh, <laughs> but the, um, so Midsummer, if you haven't seen it, there's this scene basically where um, this guy's having sex with this woman and then all of a sudden this old lady comes behind him and starts helping him thrust. Oh, no yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a particularly weird sex scene. And then I saw Rex <laughs> and it just out trumped it. Do you want to explain the sex scene? I didn't find that bit funny though. That bit actually legitimately grossed me out. Yeah, me the too. bit that I found funny was when um, the cameraman was trying to leave prematurely and he gets accosted by the old woman and you know, not to spoil anything, she she sort of comes on to him and then ends up killing him. And it's the bit where where um what what's the song playing again? Um the Don't Fear the Reapers playing. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. It's really it's really cinematically good a good scene because the blood's splatting on the car, the headlights mm -hmm. making it turn red. Yeah. But it's when she sat on top of him going <laughs> Like that. Why was in hysterics? She, she was doing that. She was sat on top. But I've she was... seen you dance like that Met Lab. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my uh, that's the, that's that's my goal, you know, to look like that woman from that scene. But she's she's stabbing him as she's doing it. But she's just like yeah. I think X didn't know what kind of movie enough. it wanted to be either. It was like part, you know. I decided in the end horror, it was, it was and then, funny. Like mocking it's a itself almost, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just think with X, it was let's do the shock factor yeah. to the point where yeah. we're just going to make people feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Like the bit that was too much for me was matey in the tighty whities when, <laughs> when he's walking through a stable and he's just like this in just tighty whities and i was like really like... i was told there was going to be like some end credit scene so i stuck around to the end and there, there wasn't that's a really boring story <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I know, like, yeah, that's getting cut out <laughs> There was one scene in one film for me, I don't know if you guys have seen it, I know some of you have, but um, mm -hmm. the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Don't talk to me. <laughs> there was just move, one move, scene. Dude, How have canceled. you got it to one scene? <laughs> yeah. Well, well the whole here. film was like It was bad. <laughs> but there's one scene. Yeah. She's driving off in the car. Well, I phrase that. The car's on autopilot. It's driving itself. It's yep. going about four miles an hour. Her sister oh. gets dragged out the window. She comes up through the sunroof and she's like, no! Just climb out and go and help the sister. <laughs> it's going four miles an hour. You're in the sunroof anyway. Climb out and go and help I'm her. I'm sorry. The whole thing about Texas Chainsaw was the house, the history. Yeah. They decided if anyone's not seen the it, they decided to like make almost like a street of little houses. No one cared. I didn't care about any of those characters. I couldn't even tell you their names. Now it's supposed to be a house yeah. all on its own in the in the Yeah, and it wasn't. Like it wasn't. Deal. This was more about Leatherface and what happened to him after. But come on, was he scary? No. <laughs> Well, here's the big difference in Leatherface in the new film. In the original, he's like a force to be reckoned with. Mm. He just literally crashes yeah. through things. In, I'm pretty sure there was a scene in the new one where he's literally hiding behind a door. Yeah. <laughs> Leatherface doesn't do that. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you reminded me. You reminded me when you said about just get out of the car and you know you'll be fine. Uh, and the fact that he's coming really slow after you, or the car's going for yeah. four miles an hour. Mm. Uh, Mikey's seen the film Kill Dozer, but it's a 1974 classic, and it's just the whole of it. That the whole movie is supposed to be really scary and psychologically disturbing. But if you know, then it is. If you're four, yeah, <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's so funny because the 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 premise is um, a bulldozer, you know, like a massive American bulldozer, hits a meteorite and gets possessed by some sort of strange entity. Oh anyway, this God, but the no. the bulldozer comes to life and starts killing people. But Christine. if you've ever, <laughs> but if you've Scott ever Dean. seen a bulldozer moving. It's so, like, yeah. it's coming, lads, quick. Keep running. It's like this quick, quick, it's still coming. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm coming for you. It's like that video you made of Michael Myers, isn't it? Oh, he doesn't oh, yes, run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me, I didn't move. Well done, yeah. you. That was me. Thank you. Me. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There's, one, there's, there's, one, there's, one, there's one scene in it, basically, where um, this guy is he's had a bit to drink because he's scared and stuff, and he's got in his Jeep. He's got in a Jeep to, to get away from the bulldozer that's coming really slowly. And he just... He, gets stuck 
and tries to turn the Jeep on, it's like, mm, it won't start. This is a Jeep, you know, like the ones yeah, that have got yeah. no doors. Yes. Or yes. Anything, yes. And this, this bulldozer's coming. <laughs> and he just sits there and goes, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's got me, I'm, it's, I'm done for. Uh, you know, any, any minute now, I'm dead. It sounds like I've seen in Austin Powers, where he's like, ah, and he's coming over and really slowly. Yeah. Watch out! Yeah. Watch out! So we're going to get back to the content in one moment. First of all, competition time. In the last video we did where we were all together, Karina got a little bit drunk <laughs> and ended up saying something. We don't know what she said. Here's a clip. I See if you can work out what she was saying and let us know in the comments below. Good luck. <laughs> no more. Um, I say, uh, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Anna. This is going to be such a... It's showing so well. You're going to have no problem editing. It's going to be like, ha ha! Sorry, Just one of our <laughs> There's a scene in um, Jaws the Revenge. <gasps> I know what you're talking about. Is it the raw by any chance? It is the raw! Yeah. It's the raw. Here's like, the thing. No, um, there's no vocal cords, but it roars. Yeah. <laughs> Sharks don't roar. Like, literally, like, there's this all, like, film. It's, it's actually feel, done like, quite the well. It's in its mouth as well, hasn't it? All at the same time. It's the big, like, finale. Like, the shark comes out of the water and roars. <laughs> Smile, you son of a bitch! It's not much yes, pain in it. Yeah, I'm gonna check you in your room. I know this one. Yeah. I know this one. A lot of people know that. I know. I know. I know. Jaw revenge. But the original jaws almost. The original jaws. She high fives. Play a clip. Until next time, bye bye. Cheers, Cheers guys. Subscribe. <laughs> I, I enjoyed that. I thought it was some really, really good stuff. There. You see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> So the original Jaws very nearly made it to the list of unintentionally funny moments in horror films because I don't know if you know this, but everything kept going wrong with mm. the shark because mm -hmm. uh, it was like, oh, obviously yeah. mechanical. Mm. Um, so ultimately they made the final decision to, to just show not show it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which was you know your film cool. knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So what could have been something really cringy and embarrassing ended up becoming not only a cult cool classic. There's something that literally launched the term summer blockbusters. Uh, 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 cult classic, if you like Steven Spielberg. Uh, don't start. Which is everyone don't but start. you. Can oh, I, I hate, just, hate so you. She so hates E.T. No, 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 no. I have a phobia of E.T. <laughs> E.T. E. 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 is a horror fanat. I think some of the moments in Blair Witch were also funny, like yeah. the the whole kind of uh, <laughs> close up to the camera with snot bubbles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he told her to walk off though. He told her to go off into the uh, into the forest, right? To blow her nose. Go <laughs> 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 blow your nose. You know, disgusting game. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a gore movie. You know, <laughs> out of that sort of thing, but no. Um, he did I tell think... her to go off into the forest and be like, look. So this 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 is yeah. your goodbye message to your yeah. family and your friends, and you know. You're gonna die tonight. She didn't have a clue if she was actually in a snuff film or not. So she is genuinely sorry. But Blair Witch worked because it was and simple, that's, didn't it? Yeah, yeah that's it. Definitely. Yeah, no, it was, more, was there, yeah, in it was the woods. It's pitch dark. It was filmed, little screen, really mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. And half the time I was like, actually, is this real? Mm -hmm. You know, freaked I, me out. I was about yeah. twelve when it came out. I was so about I, uh, thirty. <laughs> it was I, so low budget 30. that it was believable. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was believable, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But they even. Because I remember my ex-partner brought me a book and it was even, they hired an investigator to actually yeah. investigate it. Because they, they what they, they said thought to the guys, that was really gone. What they said to the guys in the film is, after this, you cannot film another film ever again. You, you're an actor, but you'll be paid enough wow. that you won't have to. 
and they, 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 they people went and hired like private investigators, and I've actually got a book at home, and it's the actual files of an investigator. Yeah, they have investigated. Missy posters. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's amazing. The fact that lot. they tricked a guy who, for a living, has to find people is genius <laughs> in my eyes. I'm like, well done. Well, that, that was that's, good. That's that, that is the good. If you're questioning whether it's real or not, <laughs> if you're questioning, yeah. you know, if you need to go and have hire somebody. Yeah. That's amazing. That's yeah. To play devil's advocate. He's not a great detective. <laughs> <laughs> After one call, oh, it's a film. <laughs> <laughs> Case closed. Did you stay for the credits? <laughs> He's like, what are all these people in this room watching it with me? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. So talking of uh, strange... <laughs> Strange goings on in the wilderness. These seamless like, links. Yeah. 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 I like how he turns to now every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, so I, I like Predator, and I think it's classed as a mm. as a horror movie. Yeah. But it's, again, it's another one of those movies that's sort of out in the wilderness and people trying to survive, and and they're up against an unknown assailant, that kind of thing. And I think that's why it's creepy. But the best bit in the whole movie, <laughs> the best bit of the whole movie is. The, the guy called Mac, the black guy that's um, kind of a bit creepy and yeah, he's got yeah. a bold head. Not that that's creepy. But he, he just sits there, he sits there intently shaving his face. It's <laughs> yeah. just a moment where he, he's lost, his eyes have gone, and it's he's very like that. Important and he breaks the voice. razor on his face. <laughs> and that's just hilarious. Would like, it have the same effect a lady shaving her legs? <laughs> <laughs> Looking intently. And then you're thinking no, about him not you're thinking about him not doing the dishwasher and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like I can't let myself go in this very moment right now. I think that's it. It's because it's supposed to be such a serious moment. It is, but he doesn't have a beard. <laughs> that's serious, right? <laughs> the thing is with Predator. Just once, I'd like to see it from Predator's point of view, where someone farts. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most unrealistic thing about the film. No one does it. There was a scene in It Part 2 where I think it was supposed to be like the scariest moment of the movie, but actually it was the funniest moment of the movie, even though it was unintentional. And it's the old lady scene where she yeah. just suddenly strips off in the background and then starts waving her arms around. And everyone in the cinema laughed. Do you know what it reminded me of? Scooby Doo when they go back and forth, like in the hallway. Like... It is supposed to be funny, and like I, I did laugh, but I wasn't the only one. On yeah, we all did. All four of us. No, no, this is not the bit you're thinking of. Oh, the very first film. When yeah. the kid, when uh, Georgie's running, he's running and he head puts Oh, yes. oh <laughs> yeah! It's supposed to be like, oh, poor Georgie! And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> dumbass! She fell over! Hello, darkness, my old friend. Speaking of it, and Stephen King, it's not just you that does the uh, seamless links. Oh. Have you seen Maximum Overdrive? Yes. No, but I've heard really I've heard things this. about this. No, so, it, heard it? it was Stephen oh. King's directional debut. Oh, yes! Uh, and it's the most weirdest thing it I've is. ever yes. Well, yes. He's actually been quoted as saying that he was coked off his face yeah. the whole <laughs> time it filming it. It does. Yeah. Let's play no. some clips. <laughs> It's based on a, one of his short stories where kind of like trucks and vehicles come to life and there's this really mm. over dramatic uh, scene where this woman runs out the diner and she's like, <laughs> we created you! Yes, she runs out the diner! Yeah. We made you! Guys, thank you so much for watching. I think we're just about done with this video. If we have missed out any films that you thought of, please let us know I'm in sure the comments below. Um, and please like and subscribe because it fills the gap in my heart uh, from my abandoned Aww. father. Aww. So thank Aww. you for watching. Bye. Was that a serious moment I was supposed to laugh at? Or? <laughs> what is it? That's what I mean. That was just I don't, weird, I really don't envy your editing job. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Next <laughs> video. Karina is banned from the next one. He next video. It's Karina. Comedy is horror <laughs> that was actually scary in places. Yeah. Can I be oh, given God. like movies to watch though next time? Okay. Like, so well, I can like, study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them I don't, and I'm like, uh, I tried. So, I've got a few <laughs> in there. But, um,